Okay, so how this works is similar to my visualized courses on Chessable. What you have to do is follow the moves that are given and then find the tactic at the end of the line. So this is the second in the series. Uh, I said I was going to do one and see how it went, but I, I might as well just do another one as well. So this is 10 moves ahead. You have to see 10 moves from Black's point of view and then find the tactic. Okay, so the easy way is to look at the board and follow the board. Well, as I say, it's easy. It's still challenging to do it like that. Or you could just, you know, listen to me read out the moves if you want to do it 100% blindfold. Okay, so here we go. I will pause after each two moves slightly just to sort of help you fix that position in your head. All right, so let's go. E4, E6. D4, D5. Knight, C3. D takes E4. Knight takes E4. Knight, D7. Knight, F3. Knight G F6, Knight F G5, Bishop E7, Knight takes F7, King takes F7, Knight G5 check, King G8, Knight takes E6, Queen E8, Knight takes c7 and find the tactic. Bishop b4, checkmate. Right, how did you get on? That sounds quite hard actually, because it's difficult obviously for me to do this. I can't really do it because I'm, I'm doing the actual thing. So let's have a look at the position. So e4, e6, d4, d5, knight c3, d takes e4, knight takes e4, knight d7. Knight f3, knight gf6, knight fg5, bishop e7, the adventurous knight takes f7, which gets a mistake from the computer, because it is a mistake. <laughs> King takes f7, knight g5 check, king g8, knight takes e6, Queen e8, knight takes c7, thinking there's a knight fork, but overlooking the bishop b4 checkmate, double check with the queen. Okay, so let me know how you got on, let me know if you want me to do any more, and I will do. Okay, thank you, goodbye.